Okay, so I am going to show you how to get the Guitar Hero input display for Clone Hero with the 360 guitar controller. All right, here we go. So, forgive my sloppy desktop, by the way. Um, open up the files that I gave you in the uh, description. And then you want to go to OBS inputs after you open the files. APVKP folder, and then the same letters .exe. All right, so mine's already pulled up. I'm going to show you what to do to get it pulled up. You right click on it, you go to editor, save, load. You want to load. You just want to find the folder, and then go to gh input layout.xml. Double click that. That should be loaded up. X that out. And then it should be there. And then what you want to do is open up GlovePie. Go to GlovePie.exe. Yes. Open. You go to File. You go to Open. GH input script dot pi. Click run. Minimize it. Let's see if it works. And it does. All right, now how you add it onto OBS though. You add Window capture, there it is. You add a window capture source. Boom. It's automatically selected, but what you do is that you go through in the list, you have to find the letters, you know, with dot exe, apvkp. It's not too hard to find. And I always uncheck capture cursor. And to get that color out of the way, you want to go to filters, right click, add color key go to custom color select color pick screen color boom okay increase the this stuff to however the you know however you like it or whatever I'll have what my personal numbers you know what I actually use in the description if you need to. I also lower the opacity on all my game sources and such so that it blends, it feels like it belongs more in the environment, in my opinion. But anyway, take that or leave it. And if you want those edges to go away, hold Alt, left click, and just shove that up a little. You can move it wherever. And that is how you do the GH input display. I hope you enjoy it.